to leave the hotel. This hotel is amazing. The beds are really comfortable. I don't, I don't think any of us have slept like that in a long time. So we're heading out to get some breakfast in Kyoto Station and maybe explore a little bit. Then at 3 o'clock, me and Shiana are having our Oedan dance shoot at the Esperanto studio in Higashiyama. <clears throat> then after that, I'm not quite sure because we have some free time so we might check out Gion and some other places. My voice is still gone so I'm not quite sure what I can do about that. I'm gonna go to the konbini and get some medicine. Okay. I bought these to help bring my, restore my voice back to a human's voice and not an Unohai voice so let's see. <laughs> for our photo shoot. waiting for the booth to open because I guess everybody has a set amount of time and um, there is I think there's four booths blue, red, gold and the Sakura booth so I'm just waiting for that this is really really heavy they put so many things on my head Shiana has finished. <laughs> I wonder how different our shoots were because I have this special Sakura Hime set plan and yours is just a normal Oinan plan. You got to wear the Uchikake, which I don't get to wear. Mine's just um, like a furisore with something over the top. Yours is beautiful. I got the shoes too because it's plan B. You got a blue one and... I got the... this is the blue as the inside and... I got to choose two covers, so uh -huh. one was gold and one was white. Wow, I can't wait to see the pictures. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Now we're picking the pictures that we want. 
I wanted to do an afterthought video for our photo shoot in Kyoto so I filmed this part about one month after we had the photo shoot because I wanted to wait for my pictures to arrive um, we had this photo shoot at the Esperanto studio in Higashiyama and after about one month they take the three pictures that you chose and they edit them and then they send them back to you in this lovely bound red photo book and the photos were actually edited very nicely of course they smooth your skin they lighten the photograph but the best part was that little space under your wig and your head they smooth that down so it looks really natural I really like the photograph so I'll probably keep one and then send a couple to my mom but for today I made a list of the good and bad points just in case you felt like you wanted to do the photo shoot but you wasn't quite sure because in Kyoto I think there are about three or maybe four studios that do a similar plan where you wear the Oiland style and you take photographs but they're very varied in quality and price so I think that you have to do a lot of research before you go. I personally researched using Instagram and I picked the one that I thought looked the best. Esperanto is very high quality and the editing is very good. The pictures in my opinion are the best but the other studios, the art style is a little bit different so maybe they're more to your taste so I would really recommend looking on Instagram. Okay firstly good point. The studio is in Higashiyama and it's very close to Gion. I think it's about a 15 minute walk. And Gion's where all the geisha are and the very more famous older buildings that you'll see in movies. So it's a very convenient place. And the studio, they also let you shoot off site if you want so um, you can film you can take pictures around the shrines in the area and there's a lot of nice shrines there too okay so when we arrived the studio wasn't how I imagined it to be at all I expected it to be really small and kind of unique looking maybe a very old building but it was very modern and very professional and very big there was a lot of customers there when we arrived I thought it would be like we would arrive and take our pictures then the next customers would arrive but when we were there there was about two or three groups of people having their photo shoots done and um, the best part for me was when we arrived and we checked in we went to the changing room and there was a really big mirror and a really big room with really strong aircon because Kyoto is much hotter than Tokyo so we were really hot and they just let us sit in there and cool down until we were ready to do our photo shoot and they didn't rush us and they just let us take our time that was really nice and the photographer was amazing he was very good at posing us with very very traditional Oiran poses um, the only thing was that you couldn't do your own original poses. I didn't mind that so much, but if you wanted to do something a little bit more unique, you might have some argument about creative control. Then uh, the girls who did our makeup and hair and dressed us, the stylists, they were amazing. And I know this is from looking at Instagram. Every time they do your makeup and hair, it's going to be different. Even if they use the same styles, every person's look is different, which I thought was pretty amazing because I had the Sakura Hime look and I thought because it was just a limited one that perhaps it would look the same as everyone else, but no, the makeup and the way they style you, they do it unique every single time. The bad points were it was very professional and when we arrived there are a lot of Japanese guys in suits to take care of the financial side which was good but it also made me kind of anxious like it was very businessy and um, the payment system at the end was very confusing like if you look at the website they have 
the plan price and then they have the extras but it's kind of vague and a little bit confusing and I expected we'd have to pay extra but when we when it came to paying they gave us a big piece of paper about all the extras because you just get the you just get these photographs you don't get the data if you want the data you have to pay extra and then they give it to you a month later of unedited data but if you want the data now you have to buy all the photographs which was an extra ichimanen 10,000 yen which is about $100 but uh, it was annoying because you had to stack them so if you wanted the data you had to buy that it was very confusing and so like your bill at the end is, is gonna be very expensive uh, we went there for this so I didn't mind I paid for all the photographs and I wanted them to be sent to me through line the line application and I wanted them now so or at the time so it was my my final price the, the plan was 22,000 yen but with the pictures all the pictures that I wanted it ended up being about 37,000 yen which was a little bit more than I was expecting but I guess next time I would just be more aware of it because I knew it was gonna be more expensive but I didn't know the system and that how you had to stack what you were buying and uh, also they they said because um, I wanted all of the pictures but you usually the data even though they're not editing it they send it to you a month later and I wanted to have them now because there was another option where you could have it now but then you can get all the pictures it was very very confusing and then they said oh there is a there is a secret Uda menu like a, a back page menu that's not written and if you want the extra pictures with this plan you can pay an extra thousand yen which I thought was a little bit cheeky I'm like oh so you can do it but you're gonna charge me extra for no reason okay <laughs> and it wasn't even an official thing they just threw it out there but I mean I was pretty happy I got everything that I wanted I went all the way to Kyoto to do this it was a really amazing experience I really recommend it but don't be like me and be very really stupid maybe mail them before and talk about the costs of what you want and say I the data that you want how you want the data also it costs different like if you want it from mail email or if you want it through your line app or if you there was a lot of different options and there were different prices so you have to think about that a lot i didn't really consider that but yes overall it was an excellent experience i wouldn't mind trying the normal oiran one that my friend had because i had the the seasonal sakura one and it changes, the seasonal one, I think it changes every month to a different flower. But I would like to try the normal one next time, but I'm not sure if I want to end up paying another 30,000, 37,000. <laughs> but overall, mm, good experience and I recommend it. I just recommend that you do your research first.